And then he said in an energetic, pumped up tone, hello everyone, I am glad to be here with this amazing and vibrant group. Just a bit about myself and how I ended up here. In January this year, I decided to dive into AI. I'm seeing all these AI automation videos on YouTube, but the one that got my attention are the videos from a young but popular YouTuber. His presentation seems very convincing, but every time I tried to listen to his videos, he talks very fast for me, and tried to visualize what he was explaining, I thought that something was off. Something just doesn't add up. It's like deep inside I know that if I tried to do that myself, it won't end up exactly like what he is showing or it will be confusing or complicated. I know a bit of coding, so I'm not afraid if I see some APIs being integrated in a code, but his AI business has grown so fast in a small amount of time, so I thought that maybe he's just not showing everything, so the only way to find out is if I subscribe to their service. Unfortunately, I didn't have the funds at that time, so I went the cheap way to Udemy and found a course about AI automation. The author used chatbots, and he's made money of them, but they only have a few integrations. So I decided to look for something else that has more. I thought of learning BotPress and VoiceFlow. I got these ideas from the YouTuber I mentioned. One time as I was grocery shopping, Asta's video popped up on YouTube. I thought to myself, who is this guy? He is talking about AI automation, but he's got only a few views. But as I listened to what he's saying, I realized that what he's saying makes sense to me and they resonated with me. Then he started talking about bot press and voice flow, their limitations, and how Chatbot Builder is a much better option. When I followed Asta, Ryan's videos started showing up. Watching Ryan's videos made me realize that I found the right tool for my AI automation. So I joined and here I am. Then I started watching Wendy and Kelly's videos. That has solidified my conviction that Chatbot Builder is really what I'm looking for. A week later, I saw Ryan's video about this YouTuber and OMG, I was so right about my gut feeling. I am so glad I have no money at that time. Rin, what's going on, man? I've gotta just say, that's probably the coolest comment we've gotten in this group and Asta is sleeping right now, as he should be, but when he wakes up, I know that he's gonna like not be able to take the smile off of his face. And so I just wanted to tell you, thanks, man. That that really means a lot, and we're glad to have you here. Anything I can do for you, don't hesitate, brother. Welcome. And that, my friends, is the difference. That is Chatbot Builder AI. This was not planned. For those of you don't that don't know, you are in the twilight zone. Or better yet, the, the AI zone. I'm Ryan Baggett, the founder of Chatbot Builder, and that was from a brand new Facebook group member. And I decided to make a video out of this last post that I saw because it was just so... I have a, a terrible time with adjectives. Gangster. Ren, sorry, I just met you straight gangster and that's why i just had to throw you on here that story that whole story verbatim <laughs> copied and pasted into one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven laps son <laughs> y'all are too much i love y'all so much i swear from freaking florida to korea to fiji to africa australia we're out here and i love it I love it. I love it. I love it. Because when you do the right things, it comes back to you. I showed you guys the reply. This is from our private Facebook group. Totally candid. Like I, I saw this dude um, leave this comment. I was like, I can't even just like give this dude a regular text back. Nah, I got to like do something. <laughs> and so I just made that little quick thing because I hoped that that would be the case. Putting yourself out there online is tough, guys. It's it's scary. You never know who's watching. You never know if you're going to choke, strike out, you know, um, let the team down. But to get the best result possible, to achieve everything you want, you've got to just put it all out there and you just got to go for it. And 
As I was telling a good friend of mine earlier today, sometimes calculated risks are necessary. It was very risky for me to, as a uh, brand new, never ran a Facebook group in my entire life, to, to come up with a post to say, hey, there's 800 people in just our Facebook group. We legitimately turned down more people than we let in. Why would a business do this? I don't even look at us as a business like that. We're, we're a collective of anything. We're the swarm, baby. We, we are chatbot builders. There's us and then there's everyone else. We're on a different planet. And this planet is the best one to be on. And I'll tell you what, every day is a good day. How are y'all doing? Am I here by myself? Or do I have any of my people up in here? Holy smokes. Mere three times in a row, my dear. Whew. First. First, first, first. It's, it's always good to be first. A really amazing client of mine has a motto, always first, always the best. It has been said by many people, if you can be one of those two things, you're, you're, you're going to be good. But if you can be both the first and the best, game on. That's what we are right here. Keith the man come on 30 minutes before it starts well i was probably like an hour and a half late and i apologize i don't like to be late but i don't like to come unprepared and i don't like to come without bringing the heat and the receipts and that's what i've got you know um that's what i've got i can't show you guys all the things in the group because that's why it's a group it's it's for our people only um but i can show you i think i've got a little screenshot of this dude's thing because it's just so epic and i just got to share this like this is not made up you know i borrowed the voice didn't borrow a single word real deal holy field i'm telling you it's, it's people like this guy that really make everything that we do so worth it i can promise you asta is in fiji on on the beach where he lives chilling she's and looking at this right now if he's not already helping somebody with solve you know, some problem or um, doing what he does. And he's so good at what he does for us being the communications director, the wonderful Wendy, <laughs> you know, um, she's, she's the real brains behind this operation. As most of you guys know, um, she's, we've been together working together for 40 years now. And um, from an, um, an unlikely interaction, she's become one of my very best friends I've ever had. And she's impacted hundreds of people directly who have indirectly been then impacting thousands and thousands of people. You know, we're, we're a very small company, guys. Less than 10 people. I'll never, I'll never want to have more than 10 people ever. I think when you're an AI company in the way that we do things, it is in our nature to be small and to let AI do the heavy lifting. But unlike most of all these other platforms out there that are actually not free, they're slaves to their investors and to the VCs and to all these people they owe money to, and that's all they're thinking about is money, we're doing things so much differently here. Yes, we're AI business communication, but the tools that we can create and are creating are changing so much, so much. Um, I think this year is the breakout year. We're seeing it right now, the hockey stick. Is still going straight up. And without further ado, I'm going to break this thing down in a, in a quick way because I'm not going to take all night. We're going to go down through some real quick features, functionality, things you should do to get started, how to get going quickly. There's no need for you to sit through three hours um, of, of courses to go out and start building chat bots in 2024. Building node by node is gone. Um, so, all of these new flow building programs that you, you're seeing pop up there or uh, improve their, their flow builders. You have to understand, although that's our original core product too, once we've gotten into this game, it's not anymore. It's necessary, but you'll see. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. I'll try to answer as many questions as I can, but I'm actually going to go at a good pace today for you guys, because I want you to learn something here. And there'll be times to just hang out and have fun later on. But today, we're going to learn real fast. So I'll start sharing my screen right about now. 
How are y'all doing? Every day is good. All right. So, I've got my split screen here. And the reason I'm going to do it this way is because, if you didn't know, we have this uh, ability to crunch it on in for the summer. Get it nice and even so you can see everything, even Steven. And why would I do this? Because I'm going to tell you everything that I know that is working. I'll tell you things that are not working. And I believe that these short form videos that we can pull from these longer videos and make them fast and easy is, is the way to go. So we'll take this, we'll have, have like the little shorts. And I think if I do everything correctly, I'll be able to have obviously Asta create some super gangster slides to go through each of every one of these little steps that I'll go through. We've got about four more days and the, or actually about two more days website will be launched. And I think you guys are going to like it for now. Let's just pop in to a brand new account. When you first sign up, you get a three free day trial. You're automatically plugged in to open AI. You don't need a key. Originally, this was our concept. You bring your own key. Do, do what you want to do. You and OpenAI do your thing. We'll facilitate. We saw something. We saw there's massive struggle with certain folks out there who have no experience with um, code or APIs or anything like that, but are very creative or they're, they found they were excellent at prompt engineering. They, they didn't know necessarily the best way to go get a key from OpenAI, and they didn't know the best way to activate that key. And open it at it and didn't make it so easy for the non-developer people to do this. So rather than have a hundred board meetings and permission from investors who don't exist on our side, we just adjusted. And I did some very risky math. And because I believe in doing the right thing and not penny pinching, the math that I've done has been actually perfect. And so I decided that to make things easy. And because we don't deal with free people, um, they're not investing in us, we're not investing in them. I said we would just pay for their usage to a certain point. And um, that's what we do. So there's not a faster, easier way to be connected to ChatGPT in your own ecosystem where you can build a chatbot and deploy it anywhere. And when I mean, I mean anywhere. <laughs> so I recommend, and will typically force you to do this, when you first sign up is choose web chat. We can name this chat by anything. I think we'll do a throwback. I think the first chat bot I built back in 2018 was for the Holiday Inn Express on Hilton Head Island, uh, where I live here in South Carolina. So I think we'll do that. Holiday Inn Express. I think it was called Resort back then. Maybe something like that. Continue. We're going to make us a resort thing. <laughs> so first up, you're in your analytics section. The analytics section is straight gangster, and most people don't give it the time of day, except they'll look right here because this gives you a really good idea if you're on track or not as far as your, your benchmark numbers. How many contacts did you get in the last seven days? How many new? What are, you, are you growing or are you not? That's like the basic idea here. You can actually do quite a bit with this section and you can even have your own custom uh, conversions you can track here. So reporting, which has always been kind of a pain in my opinion, being in digital marketing for almost what, 11 years now, I guess, maybe more. I've lost track. Um, re doing reports kind of always sucked. When I transitioned to not just focusing on digital marketing stuff and really honed in on tangible results through chat based messenger Marketing, I learned the inbox is really the money box. That is why if you run Facebook ads, more than likely you've been like pounded with Facebook telling you what to do. Messenger ads, <laughs> DM ads. There's a reason for that, guys. If you're not selling a product like straight up e-commerce, there's not a super great way to understand the real ROI of what's going on on social media. So back in 2020, my first like, what I considered a very smart approach to this problem was 
to ask the business owner a simple question. You can apply this to any channel, but the easy one to go is how much money did you make from Facebook today? Or how much did your marketing agency make for you in revenue in the last 30 days on Facebook? They're not going to have a freaking clue. How many clues? Zero. Now, here's a harder question to answer. Or actually, there's a, 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 a better question to answer. Because what if you're not e-commerce? It's really tough. How, how many new customers did your Facebook or Instagram efforts get you related to building your customer list, your email list? You don't know? Well, that's not good. You must know. Because if you don't have this metric, you have absolutely no idea what is going on except a bunch of anonymous clicks to your website or, or a bunch of public likes and maybe some comments, but you're not getting anything tangible out of that. Those are vanity metrics is what we call them in the industry. Some people need those vanity metrics, but I've never been a believer. And so instead, when you can actually say on a daily basis or allow your client or allow your manager to see how many new email and phone number contacts, first name, last name, did we get from Facebook and Instagram today? Or how many new leads did we get from the website chat bot today? By the way, if you're relying on the Facebook chat widget, that's going away very soon. You're going to have to make a change there or you'll miss out on actually knowing who those anonymous visitors are to your website. That's the name of the game. Okay. The analytics is your proof that the service works when there's nothing going on in the analytics. That means something's not right. <laughs> there's no traffic, but we did something amazing here for you. We've made it almost impossible to lose. How? We've given you the ability to let's skip on down here to settings, use an abundant amount of different channels to reach the customer. Here are all of our native integrations. Facebook is where we started back in 2020. Today, we have all of the major channels and more coming, including Discord and Twitter very soon. You're welcome. <laughs> I know a lot of you've been waiting on that. It's coming. I'm working hard every day, baby. I promise you. Telegram, email, voice. This is a huge one. Voice is telephone calls, folks. In less than five minutes, I mean, that might be something we'll actually do. You connect your chatbot that's ready for you pretty much out of the box, connect to the phone channel. And why is this important? You're going to not only become a marketing service or a chatbot service, you're now a utility. You're now integral. And when you're the hub of all of the communication for a business, you're vital to that business's success. And with AI, without you having to know all of the things or hire out all of these individual experts, the way we've wrapped everything up into a mobile friendly application in the palm of your hand, you're able to build, deploy and manage an enormous amount of conversations at scale. So how do you do that? You've got your channels, you got your analytics. We gonna look over here. Into integrations. There's this thing that a lot of people got hooked on last year called P -p 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 prompt engineering. And I love it. It's so fun. But Chad GPT asking questions to Chad GPT, not prompt engineering. That is asking questions to Chad GPT and getting the results that you want. Prompt engineering specifically, traditionally, has always meant programming bots, programming computers to do what you want them to do. So when you open up the prompt engineering tab, you can see here in box number one, you can edit your system prompt and your business information. Or since we've started, we've added more things, you could select an assistant from OpenAI or even choose a prompt template. Prompt engineering and auto GPT. This is in, in insanely critical for you to understand because this is how genius the system is and how easy it is we've made to create insanely advanced chatbots. Here's what I mean. All we need to do is click here. In this case, 
out of the box. You've got this one sentence prompt. This is the recommended prompt from OpenAI's documentation, or at least it was last year at one time. So we follow that model. But out of the box, you're chat GPT. You are chat GPT in a way. They might have some extra stuff here inside of their prompt, but out of the moment you hit connect, name your bot, now you have chat GPT unlocked, connected, done. But we are Holiday Inn Express. So let's let's go there. Holiday Inn Express Hilton Head. Bam. Small. I think I took that photo. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I took that one. Okay, so watch this. We have all this information here. And I don't want to read any of it. So what I will do is I will just do my little trick here that I've been doing over a year now. And we're just going to grab the text. I'm going to copy this text. I'm going to go into chat. GP Tizzle, and I'm going to make it do some work. I'm going to say, take the following information from this website homepage, compile it into a organized knowledge base document for my chat bot. I swear. Does, does this always happen to you guys? Does it, when you say chat bot, does it make it always say chat butt? God, is it my accent? Is, it, is that horrible? If it is, I'm sure there'll be many people that let me know. Um, all right, so paste, son. Didn't copy it right. All right, that's cool. Copy. And sound effects make everything better. Bam. So gangster knowledge base. Off the homepage, son. All right, so no FAQs there. So I think there's some here. What up? What up? Can we see everything all at once? Yup. Yup. Do y'all see how gangster this is? I swear. So let's do this. I'll show you some super cool tricks. Okay, cool. That looks great. Here are the FAQs that I missed providing you. Please add these in there. Like swimwear. <laughs> I'm not going to confuse you that much. And I'll just dump in those FAQs. And then we'll also say, great. And here are links I would like you to include at the end of the document that will be used for a reference. All right. So we've got the one here. We've got. Let's do this. Let's go really fast. Where's my notepad? How y'all doing today, baby? We have to have this gangster chatbot under 30 minutes that you've ever seen. All right, here's my notes here. So we won't go fast. That's how I do it. All right, so first we'll get the homepage link. Homepage, let's get the amenities. Copy link address is what we want. Let's see, I'm going to spell it. So see what I'm doing there. It's not as pretty. Offers. Copy link address here. So this will be group and event specials. Specials and promos. And let's go to local area. Copy link address, local area. And photos, copy link address here. All right, cool. So I did all that. So we would have to go back and forth here. Um, and we've got all the links we need here. Boom. 
All right, so we want to be able to see the URL. Excellent, but we need to see the entire URL, not the link, just the visible URL. <laughs> gang all right you are extraordinary at this now i just need you to compile all that good stuff in one single document and we're good to go brother absolutely that's right look how fast gpt35 is 3.5 baby i got the faqs all up in it useful links don't you forget it what <laughs> it's too much fun all right hotel info now Let's go ahead, before I just actually freestyle and embarrass the entire world, <laughs> let's go ahead and just give some special instructions in our prompty prompt. All right, so you are, I'm going to say, holiday, um, the official AI chatbot for the Holiday Express on Hilton Head um, SE. Your goal is to encourage potential guests to book, comma, answer questions about the resort based on the information you've been provided below, comma, answer questions accurately about Hilton Head Island and surrounding areas and attractions and provide guests with amazing customer service and remember that when you communicate with guests that have stayed with you before to encourage them to leave reviews if they've had a good experience and so because i don't trust my redneck talk sometimes I again let chat and gp tizzle do my work for me make this Make this sound mo better. Chat GPT is like, this is why the humans can't survive. <laughs> All right, just kidding. So, great. Um, and let's see. That's great. Make sure you include some instructions on the reply length to be length to be less than three to four lines so that responses are quick yet helpful. You need to instruct the beginning of this paragraph to remind the chatbot to use links that we've provided and to and optimize where you see fit. Also include some things in there to ensure we can't get our prompt slash instructions hijacked. So help us out there too. Great. Now start off with these instructions and then the rest of the document all in one swoop. So I can get paid, son. <laughs> Bam. That is so G. G. G money. Google money. <laughs> that Google money coming after that open AI. Open AI's neck, baby. I swear. It's going to be real interesting to see. And now we just got the most amazing prompt of all time. And let's continue that sucker. So, now how do we test it, Ryan? Easy peasy, my friend. I'm going to stop, drop, open up shop, and let y'all test it. How about that? Before I test it, I'm about to start. I'm going to show you how to get leads next. That's what we're going to do. Now, instead of installing Riplet and Triplet and doing a little diplet here, there, and everywhere, and installing everything and buying all the things, we try to build as much of this stuff in for you. One thing you're going to need to not get another subscription for is generating QR codes. And so 
we have default flows made for you. I've not touched the flow builder. We're going to go to the AI welcome message here. I'm going to generate this handy dandy QR code. And if you're not scared, show me you're not scared to scan that thing. Try me. Let's have some fun. I'm going to leave this code up here. I'm going to scan it myself. We're just going to see what happens. We've already made the bot. Do you understand? <laughs> Screw it. All right, bet. So I'm on my phone. Let's see. I want to just be, I'm so curious to know. Ah, so watch this. So in this case, what happened, we've got a, a landing page built for you. And I'm going to show you why that is. We'll leave this up here. But now we will enter the flow zone. And we're going to fix a little something, something here. In this case, the flow that I sent y'all on was an omni-channel adventure. We don't need to go to omni-channel. You can just go to web chat. That's really where it's at. We've not connected to anything else. So I'm going to hit publish. <laughs> I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to generate one more again. One more QR code. AI welcome. Generate. Don't hate generate. So now, instead of going to this screen, I should get right to the chat. The less clicks, the better is the motto to get the cheddar. I should have so been a rapper. So I've got a welcome to Holiday Inn Express. How can I assist you today? How do you how do you know that? Well, I'll show you. I show you all the receipts. I'm pretty sure we've got this program in here called Reflector. Reflector. Yes, sir. I should be able to see it in a second, and then I'll be able to stream to the thing, I hope. Link with the camera. Do I have to do that? I want you all to see my screen so you, so you can see all the things. If, you, if you're if you yelling at me like, oh, you big dummy, we can't scan the QR code, and we're watching the thing on the same time. I didn't know this until last year, but you actually can. If you... um a screenshot if you're taking a picture of this like a screenshot and then like go to your pictures on an iphone at least it's pretty cool you can um actually click the thing and it'll uh open the link from your qr code and i guess restream i guess this uh reflector ain't working why link with quick reflect i want to just freaking do it man whatever you'll just have to trust me i think you can trust me i thought this would work though i'm gonna stop paying for it if it doesn't work <laughs> Um, let's see. It might need to be updated. Settings. Connections. Come on, man. Airplay security. Why isn't it working? Gang. All right, whatever. Whatever. It usually works. <laughs> I wonder if we got any leads yet. I bet we have some. One or two, maybe. I really want that thing to work. I'm going to try one more time. Reflect. Uh... Come on, man. Let's do quit. And I'll do it one more time. Last try, and then I'll like give up on it and unsubscribe from their service. <laughs> Y'all got to work. All right, there it goes. Oh, they heard me. They just sent the update. That's what I thought. They have good support. Good job, Reflector. You saved yourself. I'll subscribe another month. I have no idea how much this thing costs, actually. But I know it's worth it when it does work. So if you need something like this, I would recommend it. As long as it does work for me right now. It's trying to. It sees the thing. And I'll give it just a couple more seconds, and I'll just, like, stop. It could be my phone's about to die. Like, if you ever see a screenshot and want to know if it's for me, you'll know because my phone will be, like, dead. Yeah, so it failed there because I think it was like dying. One more chance. One more shot at this. It says it's working. But will it work? Might just have to update it. But we won't do that right now with you here. Oh, snap, boy. That's why you never give up. Never, ever, 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 ever give up. And here we are right now. Ready to play? No? We can scan the thing, though. So cool. Watch this. This is how we'll do it. So you can see everything, dude. Yeah, I've got a couple missed calls and a couple um, 
text to get back to you. Sorry, guys. And I have a couple missed discords. I apologize. But I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> Every day is fine. Uh, Holiday Inn Express Resort. We should get us a little answer here. If I've done everything correctly. Let's see. Skirt. Let's say hi. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Let's see who we got in our inbox playing. We might be hitting rate limits. Let's see. Look at this. How do I make my phone smaller? So there's my high. We've got some people here. Boy, my internet's jumping. <laughs> I don't even know how many people we got up in here, but we got some leads, dude. Let's look at our analytics while my internet catches up. I've got my restream running. 25. She boy. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. Going fast. My internet can't even keep up with my restream. I think I might have to turn, turn the restream thing off and just play. <laughs> Y'all, let's turn restream off. Let's see how many we got now. I know we got more now. All right, look. So here's what we'll do. We're going to take restream off since it's, I think, like, hosing up everything. We're already getting leads there, dog. And let's go to my flows here. And what I want to do is AI welcome message. Let's make sure I'm Gucci here. Yeah. So when you've got, or do we need to change our API key? It might be. So might need to do that. Unless I'm, my computer's just going so slow right now. Let's check it. So here's something that you can do here. Let's look in our error log to see if we have any errors. Your bot was deactivated, boom. So that's why, check that out. I got to activate my bot. Well, luckily I know the owner. So um, let, me, let me do my owner thing here. <laughs> we give you, this is lesson number one. We give you 25 contacts. But what I'll do here, since I know the guy, we'll just give myself 250 contacts. So now you can play again. So rule number one. When things are not working in the way that you expect, the error lock is always your best bet to go. The owner of the thing. That's where I'm at to figure out my own problem. The problem was we got too many leads in five minutes, five seconds. But now, now we're here. This 25 will be able to be all Gucci when I activate this thing, sucker. Now we can all play again. So <laughs> let's do it. Let's go back to our setting, to our um, tools here, and go back to the QR code. Can we get 25 more people? Can we get 50 leads in five minutes? Can we? I love when things work. All right, so now I can show you my screen again. And yeah, we don't we, we um, learned the hard way, <laughs> um, trial and error, that people like to take advantage of things, so. That's why we shut off your key too. When you see the thing spinning, that means your key shut off because you, you haven't paid or you, your card failed or something or you're on a trial. Is Hilton Head any good? I always go to Myrtle Beach instead. Let's see what our bot's going to say about Hilton Head. Hilton Head and Myrtle Beach offer quite unique experiences. It, it, this is so true. The town of Hilton Head Island would love this bot already based on this. I swear on my life. Because <laughs> this is so like a fight between um, South Carolinian beach towns, I guess. Like you got me over here, Bluffton, Hilton Head area, Savannah. Kind of like where the pirates were, the um, bad guys, the criminals <laughs> of the early United States. And then you've got Charleston, like, like the rich people of the United States. And you got M Dirty Myrtle. I love Myrtle Beach. I had fun when I was playing baseball, uh, doing fun stuff like that. I remember Myrtle Beach. Y'all got any photos of the resort? Let's see if we can get a photo. A link. We should get a link. Bam. Now we can make this link clickable, but let's just verify that we can um, ensure that link worked perfectly. I bet you $100 it did. Yes, sir. 
there's some pictures. So now watch this. Lesson number two for prompt engineering that you're going to want to know. We can do this anytime we have a link. So watch this. It's called show and tell. We've already told the bot what to do. We told the bot what to do in our integration section. Somebody needs some help. No. Okay, so let's put this person here. So now we're all good. I want everybody to be able to talk. How many leads we got? 29 leads. We need third. We need what? Yeah. We need 20 more to hit our 50. 50 leads from that QR code. Let me put that QR code back on there for you. So you go to your tool section. You have many, many tools. Webhooks, bot simulator. You've got news manager, event manager, poll manager. These are carousels that we've designed for you. Questionnaires we've designed for you. You could build this manually or you could use it the easy way. Appointment scheduling. This is built in through AI and a visual calendar. You can make your own templates that you can then add to our wonderful GPT store, by the way. GPT store is gangster. We have gotten a lot of cool GPTs submitted, and we hope you'll submit some too. This is a cool one I actually made, I believe. Look at that. I got, I got some reviews. It might be for myself. <laughs> but you are free to sell your GPTs here. We take zero commission, and we will never take commission because that's your money. Um, all right, so the tools. QR code, baby. Make the QR code to the welcome message. Generate that thing. Have some fun. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's save this thing. Download it. I have a... Every day's fun, man. If you're not an AI, you're, you're not in the right business. That's where it's at. We can help you with that. So, hopefully I can... Um, have this on my screen full time. Actually, I think Restream lets you put a little QR code, do they? Maybe they do? QR code? Sweet, they do. Let's do this. So, actually, this is a great idea. What we can do, I've got Restream open here. And so, instead of just using a QR code there, what I'll do, I'll go to the welcome message itself. Make sure I hit publish or publish if you're French. Click on that generate button there. I can add it here and say, scan me. Generate. Now it should just pop up on the screen here if I have done my job correct. Whoo, you see it up there? Can I move it or no? I don't think I can move it. Whatever. I think it works. You got a QR code right there. You can scan if you want to. And that'll go to this message right here. And how does this work, Ryan? Well, if you see my little sticky note here, in the generate message block, you can read all this note yourself. But basically, any flow can be a welcome flow, a, a welcome message flow. Um, and you can set this flow according to the channel that you're in. So one thing I think we should go ahead and do, just because, is let's go ahead and open up Twilio. This is a fun one. We're going to make a phone chat bot right now. Now, I'm doing Twilio first because it's so easy. There's like two steps only. Um, and it still works well. And it will also maybe work with 11 labs. Uh-huh. So, we've got to do all the things. Right now, I'm just pop popping in this code real quick. Gucci. All right, Tulio, Tulio time. Now, who else is going? Who else is going to buy a number for you, just for a demo? Ryan will. CBP does. We invest in you, so let's buy a number. And I'm going to buy an eight four four number. This is a toll free number, but it's similar to my number eight four three. You could use any area codes you have that they have available. Now, I'm going to go ahead and buy this thing. $2.15. I have no idea how much money we spend here. Wendy, you're going to kill me. <laughs> All right. We're going to need to verify this number. Now, we can immediately call, but we can't immediately text. That's going to be something that has changed recently, and it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, so you need to put your information here. 
your business information. You have to have your your stuff there. Um, and then you, you just fill this out. And like literally in like three days, in my experience, now I've got a, I mean, I've got a long history with Twilio. So maybe I'm in a category, but I mean, you just have to give them some information here and let them work with you. Okay. You can also ask ChatGPT to help you, but I'm going to say we use SMS notifications. Messaging to update our customers about important updates related to their account. Put your email in there. Opt in type web form. Um, message content. We'll say T. We'll say TTT. Your account has been updated. To the latest tech text back for any questions, something like that. We are doing this for demo purposes, demo and training purposes. And then they need a URL. Now this is something who, um, uh, a good member of ours. Um, he, it's easy to miss this one. I, you could use multiple methods, but this is the way that I do it. Um, we'll just go to the contact page here of this website. And what you got to do is take a screenshot of however you're telling Twilio that they're going to opt in. And then what you need to do is use a service. Um, I use a really cheap one when I do quick and quick down and dirty stuff like this called, um, ad of course, as I get here image BB. It's, it's just a really cheap way to go about it. You can upload the screenshot here, upload. And then I'm going to hit, um, don't, I can hit, don't auto delete upload. And then I need this direct link here, that direct link. It's just throwing this on their server of your screenshot so that they can see what your page looks like. I've seen where recently where someone was very much um, entering more than just a URL here. I think this has tripped up a lot of people unintentionally, obviously, um, but you know, no company's perfect. And I think this is a screw up on Twilio's side because maybe it's not so clear, but like, I remember we had a screen share with this, uh, really cool member of ours and i looked down, i was like that's it right there the, the, your only problem the reason that you've been stuck on twilio that right there you need a screenshot of your form i think it was either one or two days later hit me back he either texted me he didn't call me um, but he uh, messaged me or something he's like you're you're the man and i was just like bump emoji send that info to verification send it so then it says okay cool you've been submitted and then you still have this deal here. You can fill all this out if you, you want to. You don't need to touch any of this, honestly. You do need to go to properties, in my opinion. And you want to give a friendly name to this number. And so let's call this um, AICBB Demo. It's a crazy name, but I have so many numbers. I'll remember this one. I'll copy it. AICBB Demo. Bet. So just so I remember, let's do something here too. All right. And so now all I need to do, I've got the number. This is the easy peasy part. You're going to go to your screen. You need to get your ID and your token. These two numbers right here. And so we need, you can go to settings. We go to our channels and here's our voice connect twilio is the easiest one to connect to but if you actually take five more minutes and use audio codes it is a much much better phone experience it's faster um the voices are much better than the default twilio voice although we're going to use 11 labs so it won't matter too much so here we'll paste in the number there and then i'll go back and get one more thing here where'd i go screw Go here and 
I'm not going to let you see this last part because some of y'all are sneaky on YouTube and you'd like to get me. <laughs> it's okay. Just not today. AICBB. So you then would just select your phone number and you're connected. I've literally connected that fast. The one small step folks miss when connecting the phone channel is an important one not to miss. And it's the welcome message set up. And so what we'll need to do in this case, because I made this a web first deal, uh, we'll need to essentially duplicate this and make it specific to the phone in this instance. So what I'll do, duplicate. That should have worked. There's my copy. So now rename and where it says copy, I'll just change to phone. Now, the reason I'm doing this is this is an important step. We want to make sure that our starting step, whichever starting step that we want to use, you use this play button to select it. We want to make sure that we've selected the channel in which we want it to work. In this case, it's specific to voice. Cool. So we'll click here again, voice. Now, the action is the same exact thing. They're, we're generating text here with OpenAI, and then we are then displaying the text through a custom field in the next step. And so what this looks like is this. When I call this number, it's going to say, this is the whole prompt for the welcome message only. This is the only place that this matters. You're the helpful assistant for the account name. The account name is Holiday and Express, whatever we named it, Hilton Head. Your goal is to say hello and welcome in a friendly tone. How can you help on behalf of Holiday Inn? All right, that's the whole whole deal. So publish. And let's go back here and go to settings. And we just want to make sure that we have selected for this voice channel the proper AI yeah, welcome phone message. Click save. So using my inbox here. Shout out to all my Latino and Spanish friends. Y'all are just like, y'all are y'all are so amazing. And we want to take such good care of you guys, by the way. We just hired another amazing Span um, bilingual team uh, team member. And we'll announce her soon, get, uh, get her picture up here and all that jazz. But like, we love you guys so much. And um, we're, you're not treated in certain places. You're not welcome in certain places. I hope you guys understand. Wendy, our vice president, she's going to get all you guys to come over here to us where we actually love you and care about your success. Um, I apologize for being dumb, a typical dumb American and only knowing English for the most part, but I'm working on it. I'm working on my Spanish and I'm working on my other languages too. I just sound stupid, but I'll get over that. Now, what I'm going to do now is, again, my own phone here. Take a QR code screenshotty, McShotterson. Bam. Call, son. Calling. Welcome to Holiday Inn Express Resort. How can I assist you today? Hey, I'm trying to find you guys. Where are you located? Holiday Inn Express Hilton Head Island is located at Two Tangleware Drive, Hilton Head, South Carolina, 29928, United States. You can find more details. <laughs> yeah, I got all the people calling. I got my people calling. I love y'all. Are, so, are you serious? Look at all the people calling. All the people calling. So we don't want all those hyperlinks in there. Um, great. Ha do you have free breakfast? Understood. Holiday Inn Express Hilton Head Island is <laughs> Hilton Head, South Carolina, 29928, United States. If you need more information or directions, feel free to ask. Do you allow dogs? Yes. Holiday and Express Hilton Head Island is pet friendly. If you plan to bring your furry friend along, we welcome them. What if he's a big giant German Shepherd? At Holiday Inn Express Hilton Head Island, we welcome dogs of all sizes, including big breeds like German Shepherds. Your furry friend will be accommodated with open arms. Bet. Well, my name is 
Michael Jordan. I used to live on Hilton Head and I plan on coming to spend a couple days. Welcome back, Michael Jordan. We look forward to hosting you at Holiday in Express Hilton Head Island for a relaxing stay. If you have any questions or need assistance with your reservation, feel free to let me know. And who am I speaking with? You are chatting with the official AI chatbot for Holiday in Express Hilton Head Island. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to ask. I'm good. I'll see y'all in a minute. Peace. Great to hear, <laughs> Michael Jordan. <laughs> she likes her some Michael Jordan, don't she? Are y'all not? Are y'all having fun? Do y'all see how many people are up and calling my chatbot? I'll bet you there's not been a single person on the planet that's made a chatbot as fast as we have live on YouTube or any other streaming service that's caught all the leads, that's got all the conversation. Now watch. I need y'all to pay attention here because you got to understand how gangster this really is. Do you see what I see here? Do you see what I see here? Yeah. Got all the info, son. Knows where I'm at. All the info. All right, I can get deep and see what's going on, view executed actions, and see what's happening here. I could have easily done some things to collect the information, uh, like name, email, uh, we got the phone number, but name, email. We could have tagged them. We could have, we could have done all sorts of things. You can see all of the stuff, right? All the things here. Again, people want to play about the UI, find something else where you ain't got to run around to have your computer full time in case the client or yourself, your own business needs to make an adjustment. Sorry. You're going to have to like go to the library or something if you didn't bring your computer. <laughs> With us, we are mobile first. This is a huge difference. I think someone just called my number to see if that was like actually my number. It's, I, I give my real number out there, folks. I'm, I'm out here for you to holler at if you need. Um, what else you want to do? Let's do one thing and then I'm going to call it because I got daddy duty, son. <laughs> um, while my wife is going to her little, uh, she's got a, a woman's group thing she does on Monday. So in like five minutes, I'm done. And y'all are like, no, right. But it's been an hour. Told you y'all, y'all said y'all, you go too long, Ryan. So everyone say, Hey, I summary, Sonny. <laughs> this is my favorite um, flow of 2023 and I think probably 2024. What we're going to do here is we're going to click actions, open AI. Now we're going to do a little advanced thing to end this last session for today. And it's going to go a little something like this. You're the helpful assistant for holiday and express that records and transcribes and analyzes conversations between guests and Holiday Inn Express human and chatbot employees, period. You must provide your best analyst of each conversation. Analysts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Summary. With helpful recommendations at the end to ensure better communication for the brand going forward. All right. And so this is general, what you start with, but then this is advanced. And the difference here, oh, did I just mess up the whole thing? Silly, silly, Ryan. Golly, the advances, essentially, you're just controlling the, the user message to the bot. So I'll try this one more time, make it mobile anyways. You're the official transcription assistant for Holiday Inn Express. And your goal is to analyze and transcribe and optimize all communication between human agents from the Holiday Inn the Holiday Inn AI, as well as customers, period. The goal is to optimize all conversations in order to provide a better customer experience going forward 
with each and every conversation. Now, we're going to tell the bot what to do. The conversation has just ended, and so now you must grade the conversation, good, bad, neutral, or missed call at the top. Then provide a one-line summary of the interaction. Underneath that, provide a brief analyst summary of the communication in bullet points. And then finally, at the end, provide a summary list of recommendations to ensure better communication going forward, if applicable. Bam. So, we have gotten fancy up in this thing. That's all I got right here. And I think it should just work. So let's click Add New, and let's make a new custom field. And this will just allow us to have the text be saved somewhere so that we could return it to the users or ourselves. In this case, we'll just save it here as AI Summary, Continue. And then in this case, to end it here, I want to be able to see some action here. And so what I'll do is I will go to Add Content, Actions, Notify Admin. I'm the only admin, and I'm going to just put this Summary, and then I'll put in that whole custom field. What's going to happen here? And then we'll have to shut off because I got to go. This is the most gangster. This is a $1,000 a month flow. A single flow. I swear on my life. If I'm lying, I'm dying. My name ain't Ryan, but it is. I believe that there's easily a $1,000 a month service that many people can offer. Record all the conversations in the inbox, including phone calls. Summarize all of them. Make them better. Automatically send this thing off to yourself or the manager. Summarize every call every day, every week. And that business is going to be on fire. We're doing it. And that's how we've saved so many, um, so many you know, potentially badly missed opportunities. We're, or, 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 um, leading people really upset by not seeing their messages. This has saved us. So let's enable this and try this out. And what's going to happen here when you use the notify admin action, something gangster as usual. <laughs> we go to our settings here. And when you go to admins, Click manage and you see yourself here. Click edit next to your name and it's going to tell you based on your email that you've signed up with or the email, the notify admin stuff's going to go. So I'm going to send this flow to myself from the inbox and then I'm going to be able to, let's see, I'm going to be able to uh, have this sent to my email automatically and I'll be done. So I will go back here to our inbox here yes and so great what i want to do here to make this life easy we'll do one small trick i'm going to go to channels here and sms i'm going to connect with my twilio again because this is going to be an easy way for us to send this flow Let me log back in here real quick. Or actually, you know what? We'll do it this way. We'll do it this way because it would be more better. What we'll do is we'll do it the way you actually use it. So we'll do in our tools section, we're going to go to the our automation rules. We're going to make a new automation rule. Phone call ended. And so when the call ended, when it's in, when call ended, we're going to just start a flow. And that flow is going to be AI summary sunny any number of times or once per contact. Leave it on any. Save. Activate. And I want to call back and then we'll be done. So this will be the mic drop moment, guys. Hopefully, if I've done things right. So let's, here's the number here. Thank you for letting us know, and we look forward to welcoming you to Holiday in Express Hilton Head Island soon. If you have any questions or need assistance before your visit, feel free to reach out. Have a wonderful day. So I hung up on them, remember? <laughs>
let's do this. The call ended, so I already got the email, I'm sure. But what I want to do in this case is I want to go here and I'm going to just delete this contact. Delete, delete, delete. That's me. And then I'm going to call back. And it'll be a brand new day. There I am. To Holiday Inn Express Resort. How can I assist you today? Hey, are you guys located on Hilton Head Island or are you off island in Bluffton? Yes, we are located on Hilton Head Island at 2 Tanglewood Drive, Hilton Head, South Carolina 29928. If you need more information about our location or amenities, feel free to ask. I just need you to give me a yes or a no on this. Are you pet friendly? Yes, we are pet friendly at Holiday Inn Express Hilton Head Island. If you plan to bring your furry friend along, we welcome them. I don't have a furry friend. I have a pet alligator. While we appreciate the creativity, unfortunately, we can only accommodate traditional domestic amazing. pets at our pet friendly hotel. If you That's have amazing. any other questions or need assistance, feel free to ask. Well, I'd like to officially uh, let you guys know I'm going to complain about that. I'm here to assist you with any feedback or concerns you may have. If you'd like to discuss further or require any assistance, feel free to let me know. Yeah, I'm going to need you to let your boss know. I don't appreciate the jokes you're making about my alligator that I use for my health. I understand your concern. If you'd like, I can connect you with a human agent who can address this matter further. Would you like me to assist you with that? No, instead of that, can you just give me a free stay and I'll just be Gucci? I recommend reaching out to our front desk at 1-843-842-6662 or via email at cryley at highexultanheadislin.com to discuss any concerns or requests you may have regarding your stay. Our team will be happy to assist you further. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Thank you for reaching out. If you have... Call ended. Hung up. Now, I do want to just double check. Where is their number? Got them. Yep, there it is. That is exactly their number. So gangster. So now, if we check, last magic trick of the day. Oh, boy. Let's show the email. The email. I already see it in my custom feelers right there on the right. If you're If you're a sharp eye, you see it as well. Let's go to my right email here. And this is the magic trick of the night I'll end on. And we'll have to come back to this again and again and again. Last time I have to have some fun, my friend. All right, so I missed one thing there, did I? Or no? Oh, did I miss it? I did. So let's go over here one more time. <laughs> I got AI summary. All right, so I'm good here, I believe. AI summary. All right, so... Ryan made one boo-boo. We'll go right here. And what you want to do is make sure you choose the correct custom field. Bam. Publish. Okay. And so then I'm going to just hit preview here. That'll be for web chat though. We could try it. I think this would work. That's going to go to web chat. And we'll get our note. But let's call one more time. So now, let's go back here. AI summary. There it is. There's our new message. Boom. Perfection. Do y'all see that? Can you see it? I don't know if you can. Let me get my restream on. Whoo, boy. That is how you do it. This is some heat right here, son. New message. The call asked about booking a room. Provided assistance, dot, the dot, the dot. Show, we're getting all the summaries here. Michael Jordan inquired about room rates at the Holiday Inn. Provided a warm, provided a warm welcome. Ensure to address the customer by their name. Oh, man, this is too freaking good, dude. So let's do one more. And so we can just really end it on the homer. On the homer. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll call it one more time. Oops, I hung up on the thing by accident. Thank you for reaching out. 
If you have any more questions or need assistance, hey there, are you there? Return. Have a great day. Goodbye. Hey, hey, I've got a couple questions. I'm here to help. Feel free to ask your questions, and I'll do my best to assist you. Can you confirm that you are pet friendly, but that you do not allow alligators in the room? I just want to be clear. Yes, Holiday Inn Express Hilton Head Island is pet friendly, but unfortunately, alligators are not permitted in the rooms for safety reasons. If you have any other questions or need further clarification, feel free to ask. Well, again, I just found it disappointing. You won't allow my alligator into the hotel, so I'll have to find another place to lodge. I understand your disappointment. If you have any other bets or need assistance with finding alternative accommodations, please let me know, and I'll be happy to help. Uh, in Espanol? Entiendo tu decepción. Si tienes otras mascotas o necesitas ayuda para encontrar alojamientos alternativos, has malo sabre o estaré encantado de ayudarte. Muchas gracias. Now, uh, in Russian. De nada. Si en el futuro tienes más preguntas o necesitas ayuda, no dudes en volver. Que tengas un excelente día. Adios. I need you to repeat that in Russia language, please. Pajalusta. Yes, Uvas, Poznik, Nuk, Depal, Nutil, Niava, Prosi, Ilivan, Patra, Vuyeta, Pomish, Nasty, Snidi, Zabrashatsu, Haroshit, Avamna, Dos Vidania. Excelente. Sayonara. Excelente. Sayonara. Ostu, La Proxima. That's the um, future right there. Okay, so the call ended, and we should get a, a nice little summary. Summary here. There's my number two show. Look, dude, the user inquired about the pet policy and mentioned a disappointment about alligators not being allowed. That's AI. Declined further assistance. <laughs> User requested communication in Spanish and Russian. Do y'all see how fun this is? And you can get right to that conversation from your email boy. And then if you had that SMS plugged in, you could text them. You could just switch your um, number right there. Look at all the information we've got. But unfortunately, my time's up. I'm 14 minutes late. And um, my wife's going to kill me if I don't get out of beautiful little baby. And I'm going to hang out with her for a while. And then I'll come back and we'll do some more fun things. But probably only in Discord. So if this has been fun for you, if you think that now we've got you, if you're going to leave the legacy builders behind and get with the future that is CBB, I want you to see what's going on in our Facebook group. I want you to come join our Discord. But if you join, you must please participate, bring value, ask questions, make us work. We're grooming our team to serve you better. If we have more spanish speaking people come we're going to hire more spanish speaking people if we have more people from ukraine come or or anywhere else from france we've got a lot of folks really cool people from france lies i need to see uh, speak with you it's been a while um but we've got a lot of people in your country now too you're i remember our very firsts from um, all the different countries we serve and um, all the different states from florida to fiji baby cbb is coming for everything you're either a chatbot builder or you're not. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all had some fun. I hope it was valuable. This is my job. This is your job. If you're in AI, this is so much fun. And the money to be made is going to be very abundant. Congratulations to all you builders that have gotten your first chatbot contracts. And congratulations to you that have had your you know, biggest deal so far. Please keep sharing those in the wins. The new website will feature you guys very nicely. You'll get some good SEO out of that. And um, let's continue to crush it, baby. Peace.